Um, so um, thank you first of all for um, for this wonderful film. And, uh, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah but uh, <laughs> it, it, it it relies a big deal on on, on you. Um, and, and of course, the first uh, um, question that comes to mind is because um, we met, and, and you're a very outgoing uh, guy. So how much of, of Leo is actually, or how much of Felix is in, is in Leo? How much do you, can you identify with him? I think what makes him strong is what makes me afraid of who I am. You know, it's, uh, uh, he has a really strong relationship to accepting things that I don't have. Um, maybe we have a taste for freedom in common, but I don't think it's interesting to to make a link between who I am and this character because by himself he's fantastic and I, he doesn't need me to be like, I, I mean, I, I just met him through this body experience of this movie. It is a, a, a quite fearless performance that you, that you give there. Uh, what was the, the, like the most challenging um, aspect of, of getting into, into New York? Well, well it, 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 was a, um, it was a really intense shooting, like uh, we, we made this movie with a really few money and a really small team and uh, conditions that are hard to handle on six weeks and uh, yeah, that was the most difficult part, to stay on emotions and to stay close to the character, to stay with him and available to him, even if I was tired or I was exhausted, to 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 let him the place he needed to be alive in the movie. Um, we've seen another film with you before, Jonas, um, and uh, last year we've seen you in 120 beats per minute, which was actually your first film, I think. Yeah. How how did you come uh, to to acting? It, it just happened. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, like uh, somebody calls and I say, uh, "Do you want to do a movie?" I say, "Oh yeah, what not?" And uh, I'm an actor. <laughs> that, that's the truth. I mean, like uh, I was in my mother's terrace uh, doing nothing out of my life, and somebody calls saying, "Like, uh, do you want to be an actor?" And I said, "Oh yeah, why not? I need money." <laughs> and, uh, and now I'm an actor, and uh, I, I love it. Like, I, mean, it's, uh, I truly love it, but uh, I didn't thought about it before. And you're very open about your about being gay from from the very beginning. Actually, you call you call your, yourself a faggot, I think, which is. Are you a <laughs> um, did, did you have any obstacles with with uh, being that uh, that open and that visible in the business? I mean, not not more than any gay people in the world. Like uh, it's just the same uh, constructions that are repeating themselves through different, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do it. through different realm, like uh, different places, like uh, as every gay person in the world, I think I have some issues, but with society, but, but not much than any, any other guy, okay? It's the same construction. Um, any questions from the audience? Oops. <laughs> so you, you, you really don't have no question about this movie? Like, I mean, because that's the first time. Like, uh, I, I've been doing like more than 50 Q&As about Sauvage, and you don't have questions? Greek people don't have questions? No, because that's pretty nice. I mean, like... Uh, okay. Okay. He wrote uh, the first draft of the script. Uh, that was from his own, and he wanted to see if it was okay with reality as a matter of truth. So he came through a charity to meet sex workers, street hustlers like, that are shown in the movie, and he stayed like three years with them. Like, uh, because at the first sight he wanted to know if it was the truth he was saying, and after he just met people and start having friends and relationship with people. So he spent three years there. I, I met sex workers by my own 
in my life, like I mean, as every human being that is quite gay and I mean, like, a, yeah, it's great. But I didn't make research about them for the movie because my character is an outcast. He's a, he doesn't belong to the same rules as the other guys. He's, he, he doesn't have the same style I and mean, it's, it's really different. So I didn't want it to put him in a kind of a technical way. I wanted to just give him humanity and humanity has no rules. It's just a way you comport with others. But I'm still curious. Uh, how did you manage to get so deep into this role, which is pretty intense uh, on its own as a character? Uh, he has some uh, quite intense self destructive uh, tendencies, but he's also, what you said, very open into accepting other people. So, how did you manage to balance those two um, extremes? With your acting, I I didn't did uh, I did it with uh, people like the director was uh, we prepare the characters through the body, like it was it was a, a non psychological at all experience. Like I never judged this character. I just tried to find his vibration that is so particular. Like it's really particular vibration. We find it out through body experience, like uh, he made me walk on the street, he made me wait, he made me fight, he made me dance, and through dance workshops, we found a kind of a body landscape of the character that was a base to work with on the scenes. But as this director is really precise, he knows exactly where to go, so it's, it's really easy to work in that kind of conditions. The only thing I can say is that it has always been clear to create a character that is able to love even in the places you never can tell there's love. That was the, the main thing. <laughs> As a Greek, uh, a traditional Greek boy, I need to ask you, what did your dad say about this movie? <laughs> I did that much pain to answer those kind of questions. No, I mean, like, uh, my parents are really proud because I'm just an artist that plays roles, you know, and uh, my mother didn't watch the movie, actually, because I don't want her to watch it. And my father did it by surprise, and actually he waits, like, two days to come back to his place to call me crying, saying, Oh, you fucking actor. <laughs> yeah, that's quite great. Oh. Uh, about the end of the movie. I mean, uh, do you have any thoughts? Uh, the microphone. Can you explain uh, why did, uh, he leave the airport and uh, the guy he seemed to be happy with? I, I, I think that um, this ending is a, is a kind of a signature of the character. You know, the, the whole movie, you see him making choices. Like, it's just like, even if you feel like he's always uh, taken by people and used by people, he's always making his own choices. He chooses where to sleep, he chooses where to go, he chooses with who he's going, and uh, he's choosing what... And at the end, he's just making a choice that belongs to him. You know, it, it's like he sees the, the plane and just, it's like, okay, I always watch it plane. Uh, I never take one, so it's just being himself. I think the, the this end this ending is a second too. It's like a, the characters telling you, yeah, this is me. Hello. Uh, in the character, I could see that uh, he was in between two different sides. The one of salvation and uh, liberty and freedom, and the other one of uh, total imprisonment. I could see these two sides. Uh, from what I'm hearing till now, uh, you lean more on the side of the freedom. Uh, but could you explain us the prison part? 
because I could see it. I, I can understand the, your question quite well, but I think that I, I can, I can do. No worries. I, I, I was just introducing myself. <laughs> Tralala, it's really French. And uh, so, uh, it was, uh, the thing is that what you see about the prison is something that belongs to you. Because in the movie, he never complains about his situation. He's never feeling bad what he's living. He always has trouble with outside, but from inside. Did you see him once saying, oh, I feel bad at being a street prostitute? doesn't give a fuck, that's not, that's not his life, his life is okay for him. Even when the doctor, she said, don't you want to smart start quick crack? He said like, why should I do that? But it's no arrogance, it's just like, he doesn't understand why people want to save him, because if people want to save him, save him is because we live all in a society that thinks about what is good or what is bad behaviors. But he is just living his life and doesn't care about it. Maybe it's self-destructive compartments, sure. But I don't think he's realizing it because it doesn't belong to those, those kind of rules. He's outside of this. Okay. But yeah, maybe you're right. That's why I'm more into the freedom part because to me, this character is kind of a an archetype of freedom, uh, of choices, because freedom is so, you know, it's uh, like uh, such an individual uh, statement. My, real, my understanding of the character is that he is in peace with himself throughout the whole film. That's what I understood, that he's happy the way he is. And he, uh, as you said just now, he doesn't even realize why people are asking him these questions because he is in peace, with, he's happy. With does this character have any fears? What is he afraid of? <laughs> no, I know nothing about He's that. happy with himself, but is it, is it anything that you would say that he... Did he ever get scared of, of dying, for example? The, the only time in the movie, I, I can only speak about the movie because the yeah, character, I don't know him, is really mysterious to me too because it's only a vibration, it's not an identity, it's not uh, somebody, we don't know his story, we don't know nothing about him. So what I would say is that the only time you see him break is when the two guys, they don't pay him. That's the only time you see him down. And the reason is not because of money, it's because the, the way he creates link to people is by prostitution and by not paying him, they are distracting the link. And this is so hard to him because that's the only reason he's living with people, to create those links. And uh, I, I think this is the only thing I can tell about this fear situation. I think he's, he's really human um, in that way. Go go to see uh, the Chinese guy. And, uh, <laughs> this scene was crazy. Well, Felix, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.